welcome to another ride along with goggles and uh <laughs> here we are we're going to start our um see if we can get those 13 loads in for the uh halloween uh achievement i guess it's called um so it's our first one so i figured well heck we're going to be hauling high ha halloween treats let's get the uh high speed chicken feed skin on here so that's what we got, high-speed chicken feed. What better to use? I got the uh, SCS W900 here, the 100th anniversary edition, with this skin on it, so that's uh, kind of cool. So, let's uh, skedaddle. We are in uh, Junction, Texas, and we're heading to Hobbs. 328 miles, so uh, we're only going to be limited to um, 65 miles an hour because it's a World of Trucks contract, so I might have been better off taking a shorter trip, but I uh, kind of wanted to do this one anyway. It just keeps flipping by the, uh, did it do it again? Oh, there's that trip economy thing. That could be interesting. Right now. Thirty-nine thousand six hundred and eighty-three pounds. A lot of treats. Oh, I didn't see that. It was still yellow when we got there. <laughs> I was pretty close. Maybe a little too close. 6.30 in the morning. Yeah, let's see what the roads are like on the way out of here. Should be kind of cool. I'm gonna start off a little, you know, tree like this. And trees around and, oh, we already see cacti or cactus or something up on the hill. Those Joshua trees or something. That was weird. But it'll quickly uh, get kind of dry and Okay, there we are, we hit our speed limit. down that road. There's nothing on the map. Huh. Should be something there. Big old Texas flags and stuff. Or, uh, yeah. This Texas flags back there, yep. Actually, probably would have been smart to get a trip on a four lane. That was an Alberta heavy haul truck at the front of that little lineup. So, note to the AI behind me I didn't slow down when I went into the four lane. <laughs> Oh boy, those guys. Oh, um, so, uh, live stream later today. Continue straight on. Should be kind of fun. It's going to start at uh, 2 p.m. Eastern time. And, uh, yeah, we'll go on for some people really, well, probably be a couple of hours if uh, folks want to watch. Let's see how it goes. 
But I had one on Friday, just an impromptu, non-advertised, and just to prove the process and get all the settings going. So apparently it seemed to work okay. So we'll uh, hopefully have a good one later today. So if you can only take so much goggles, <laughs> uh, stop watching this, watch it later sometime and save yourself for the live stream. <laughs> uh, I, I, you know, I was kind of thinking that if it's going to be a regular thing and do live streams, that I shouldn't have a video the same day. That's kind of crazy. But I'm doing this video because I forgot to say anything or ask people about it or get people's opinions and see what to do. So the live stream, uh, it's certainly not as much work as making a video, but at the end of the day, you spend, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes doing a, a drive for a video, and you spend that much time again or more rendering and editing and all that stuff so it's kind of like if I was to do a live stream every Saturday it'd be almost like getting a day off <laughs> uh, one less video to make so anyway that's a thought so if you have thoughts on that I'll probably bring it up in the live stream see if we can skip Saturday's video and do a live stream instead and we have to watch how things go uh, with the live stream the left. And, then turn left. and no oh shoot just lost my train of thought turn left now. what I was thinking is um, you know the time of day and how long we go and whatever else it's obviously the first of uh, these ATS live streams so I'd like to do them, you know, maybe weekly or whatever. Uh, I'd like your guys' opinion on that, too. We can talk about it later in the day if you join the live stream or comment if you're not going to be able to join the live stream. And uh, would you like to see a live, live stream every week? And when I did take the initial poll for what day, it was Saturday was the winning day, and Saturday in the p.m. Now, that didn't really... You know, we weren't saying evening or whatever. It was just, I think I just made it p.m. So what I want to watch out for is, like, I, straight on. I'd like to have my Saturday evening <laughs> sort of clear. So I could, uh, you know, watch the uh, hockey game or whatever. Spend some time with the kids. Scenery is changing here. Ballinger. back in cruise actually not too bad so far it didn't take us an awful long time to get out of town back there in San Antonio or sorry Junction driving that Mac. Turn right now. 
got to uh, hit the throttle a little harder on those downshifts. Continue straight on. So this high-speed chicken feed uh, skin, it wasn't my idea. It was uh, a fellow in Maine, I believe it is. Maine or Connecticut? Maine, I think. Scott, if you're out there watching, how do you do? But I thought it was just cool enough to do. I, I don't really do requests or anything. I do take suggestions. If it's something I feel I want to do, I'll do it. That was the case with this one. Well, wow, that's a rattling going on in here. You got the bunk full of Christmas tree or Halloween treats? No. here and see uh, how long this is going to go on like this. Oh, look at that. Kind of nice windy road. I don't, oh yeah, we got the uh, roof cam. Yes, I made a bunch of changes to my uh, graphic settings. Well, not a whole bunch, but uh, it's running pretty good. I think I got my scaling back up to 400, too, on top of everything. So it's working pretty good. And I changed my display up in the top left corner there to Celsius, because it's scary <laughs> looking at the CPU and uh, GPU temperatures in Fahrenheit. Because whenever you read about them, it's in Celsius. And uh, it looks pretty good. CPU is, uh, oh, what is it, 43 degrees? GPU is 34. 41 for the CPU and 33. I think I got that right. Anyway. Things are running pretty cool. I actually took the side panel off my computer because I was a little... <laughs> I was... I was thinking it was getting a little hot and then I went, oh, no, that's Fahrenheit. But maybe I better put that cover back on. See what it does. I know it did run a few degrees Fahrenheit cooler with the cover off, side cover. Quite the big sweeper. So I put a poll out there uh, to see what truck to start the uh, live stream off with. And uh, at the start of this video, of recording it on Friday evening, it was somewhere around, I think the BPM, oh, LTL 9000 is in the lead. 
Let's uh, look at that again before video time, obviously. got there too so oh look at these guys just had an accident here nice <laughs> this came smoking right into the back of him man continue straight on i don't know if any of you guys have ever heard that uh um it's on youtube but it's a recording that a dude made he uh i guess the guy who did the recording, or it was made by a company's uh, recording machine, and a dude is down here in Texas somewhere. Guy's driving to work, and uh, he's calling in, and he's leaving a message for somebody at, on the answering machine at work. And it sounds like a shop he's working at, and uh, like an industrial type thing. I'm thinking, anyway, an accident happens in front of him. There's some dude. I think he was driving. A, was he driving a white Impala or something? Or were the old gals were in the Impala? I can't remember. Anyway, he runs into a carload of old grannies. And uh, then he proceeds to get... And this guy's describing it all. Oh, he just was... Dude, I just seen this. And he's describing it and he's going on. And the, the, four, the guy goes over <laughs> to the old grannies. And he's going like, you know, it's their fault. And he's gesturing at them like they're idiots and at fault and all this. And so they get out of their car and they hang a beating on them with their purses. One old lady pulls a Bible out of her purse and smacking the guy over the head with the Bible. One of them pepper sprayed him and the other one's jabbing him with the umbrella. And the guy, the guy is describing it and it's the funniest thing you've ever heard. I'll have to see if I can find a link to that. And, oh God, it was funny. I'll see if I find a link and I'll put it in the video description if I can remember. But man, that was about the funniest thing I ever heard. And I uh, first heard it, it's heavy 10 or 15 years ago. And I listened to it last month again. I found it on YouTube. And I, it was just as funny the second time, or after all of that time passed. Keep to the left and then turn left. This guy didn't let us go there. Hey, yep. Turn left now. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Continue straight on. Seminole. Yeah, I'm going to have to take a little flight around the border here of uh, Colorado and Oklahoma and see what the roads are extending, extending into uh, what's going to be Kansas at all. Hmm. Yeah. I haven't done that in a while. I know just where I'm going to go and look, too. I haven't done a uh, trip up that uh, uh, east uh, border, the eastern edge of Colorado, looking out at what is going to be Kansas. I haven't, haven't been up that way in a while. Must be a Mary's Cotton around here. There's cotton all over the side of the road. Oh, there's some bales, cotton, cotton yep. Yeah. Just looking at it all spilt along the side of the road. Continue 
straight on. There's cotton fields. Miles to go. Continue straight on. Let me shit how to get over here just in case we get a run on these guys from the light. Oh, a little container. I wonder if he's got some a heavy load of machine parts in there. He does. Yeah, if that's uh Oh, we've got a Montana Express behind us. Boy, it's like he's attached to our bumper with the string. That's cool. When Texas was just a dream or a glint in our eye, I used to come down this road and go to the end of it there and peer out at nothing and uh, just looking, looking around all the periphery to see what they were doing with the updates and how they were laying the groundwork for Texas. And man, that was a, a long time coming. To the right. Texas. And then turn right. Took a long time. Hobbs, New Mexico. Turn right now. Oh, four miles, so I guess we're real close now. sale. Shopping center? Oh, suitable for. Right next door to the basketball court. The AI goes around a corner like they have a big trailer on. They're always swinging wide and they take that little juke to the left to go right. It's kind of comical, actually. It's like they, they take the same uh, driving path. Uh, I guess, you know, it's kind of think of it like there's an unseen line that they follow that's like a slot car track or whatever and they're stuck in it but they use the same slot that the trucks do. I wonder why they don't have their own. So every now and then, like you're not really paying attention, car comes around a corner and he takes a jaw, uh, you know, the little dive at you, it kind of catches, right. catches you off guard turn right. every now and then. Turn right now. We are here. Well 
done driver. That was a great trip despite the traffic and those crazy drivers. Yeah. Where did they get their licenses anyway? SES. I'm a little tired, but after we get this load off, you want to go for a beer. Awesome. Somehow I knew you'd say that. Yeah, they get their licenses from SES. Mama. So we got 5.5 uh, miles per gallon on that trip. Oh, we're going to be able to get in there from here. Nope. We got to... Okay. We have to do a U-turn, come back out of here and back our way back around in there, I think. I don't know. Is it... Uh, it's probably long. Nah, we're going to get all stuck in there. Probably better off just doing a U-turn back into there. Could potentially do it, I guess. over here a little bit so we got some room to swing the tractor around oh high speed reverse cannot do that that a little late. I'm going to hit the front of that trailer. That's not a way to make friends and influence people. Smacking into trailers so you're trying to park. straight. I have to pull ahead again. Yeah, we're still not too straight, but we're going to take it. Okay, here we are. Halloween goodies delivered. Jo job delivery number one in the books. Twelve to go. Oh, yeah, we got to ditch the trailer. <laughs> I always forget. So I used to drive my own trailer around. 78 gallons. Wow. Well, oh, fair enough. Done. Job one in the books. Get all the rules. So, yeah, the one thing about these, uh, what I don't know how you guys approach it, but, you know, if you don't get a job or see one you want to do right in the town you're in, but these World of Trucks things, you got to go to the, uh, you, you, they're not going to tell you the job's all over the map. They're going to tell you the job's for where you are. So what I do is I just do the dev console, go to go to another city and see if I can find a trip that I want to do. And uh, basically how I got this one. But um, guys, as always, I just, you know, appreciate you guys following along. And uh, it's uh, it's been good having you aboard. We'll hopefully see you later in the day uh, for the live stream. And uh, take care. We'll catch you on the next one, and bye for now.